Well, hello, hello, everybody. How are you? If you're out there, let me know. Um, just say hey if you want to. You don't have to. Um, so my name is Mitchell Osborne, and you can find me at MitchellOsborne.com right there, right there. And I'm a tarot reader, psychic medium. I do animal communication and mindfulness transformation with other modalities like EFT and and EMT and hypnotherapy, um, all that good, all that good stuff. So, um, yeah. So I'm going to be doing some readings for you. So if you're out there, um, hang tight, and I'll tell you how this is going to work in just a moment. And um, so, yeah, but just let me know if you're out there and I'm going to be using two decks. You get to choose what deck, either the Tarot Bot or the Golden Girls. If you go with the Golden Girls, it's probably going to be a little more campy, a little more fun, lighthearted reading. If you go with the Bot, it's probably going to be a little more serious, you know, kind of mechanical kind of a thing there. So, so yeah, so it'll be it'll be a fun one. So, yeah, either the Golden Girls. Hey, Barrett. Either the Golden Girls or the Tarot Bot. I did an unboxing of both of these recently. So if you want to see the whole decks, you can go there and check them out. So um, what I want to do is um, I'm writing down something on a piece of paper. So hang tight. So if you're out there and you're watching, hey, Teresa, and you've not had a reading from me in the last maybe two to four weeks, um, then you can... Barrett, hold tight, buddy. <laughs> then, then you can can get one. Otherwise, see if anybody else who hasn't had one can jump in. If I keep asking, then you can throw your name in the hat. And I can also have a waiting list. So it, it listen to the rules here. Hey, everybody, if you're joining me, if you're joining me, readings, you're either going to get from the Tarot Bot deck or the Golden Girls deck. Hey, Cecily. So Tarot Bot or Golden Girls. So what I want you to do is just for now... If you would like a reading, um, and then I'm going to ask you something later, but if you'd like a reading, either say GG for Golden Girls or BOT, Bot, for the Tarot Bot deck. So go ahead, and I'm going to take eight people, the first eight that get on there. GG if you want it from the Golden Girls, which would be a little more lighthearted, um, maybe a little more campy, sassy. I don't know. Maybe I'll be influenced by that. If you want Tarot Bot, it's going to be a little more serious, a little more logic side, because I work well between both those brains. So, GG for Golden Girls, Bot for Tarot Bot. Go. Tell me what. You, tell me if you want a reading live. People are going to be up in your business, and then I'll tell you. Um, I'll tell you when to post your question. So, um, Teresa wants the GG. All right, and Cecily, I assumed you meant Bot. <laughs> So, um, Barrett, I'll put you at number eight, Barrett, just in case. So, let's see, Cecily, Sue, GG. All right, Cecily, yeah, we got you down, bot. Hazel, bot. Let's see, Hazel, Cecily, yes, love bot. <laughs> you love the tarot bot. So if you're joining me, um, what I'm doing is I'm going to read from either the Tarot Bot deck or the Golden Girls deck. And I'm going to take eight people right now. So let's see. Hazel was the last one I had. Um, Michelle Bot. Okay. Got room for a couple more. I got room for two or three more. Barrett, you may get kicked out, buddy. Sorry. <laughs> so... Let's see, Susan, okay, different, there's Sue and there's Susan, so let me make sure I get it right. So Susan, GG. Barrett got you on the big screen, Woohoo! Can you see my pores? Is there anything on my teeth? I just had Mexican tonight. So Tamara, what you need to tell me is either GG or bot. Which deck do you want it from? Golden Girls is going to be a little more lighthearted and campy. Bot is going to be a little more logical and serious. So, Tamara, quickly put it in before someone takes your spot. <laughs> GG or Bot? Somebody's texting me. I'm like, no, don't text me now. So I got room for three more or two more because I'm kicking Barrett out. Barrett, I'll put you on the on the standby.
So Tamara, just tell me um, what you which uh, deck you want. I need to know that. Oh, now it's not scrolling. So oh, it wasn't scrolling. Okay, so Tamara got bot. Um, Sumatra, Sumatra, I think I'm saying it right. So Sumatra, I've got you for bot. Okay, that's all I can hold for right now. So tomorrow I got you down for bot, yes, so bot. So that's all I can do for right now, you guys. So hang tight, if I get time to do more, I will open it up. So, so what I'm gonna do, read from one of the other deck, and let me just show you the back of the deck. So this is the back of the Terrobot deck. It is so beautiful, and I shuffled the shh out of these cards before I got on, because I do not like it when, like all of a sudden I'll pull three cards and they're like all, the same suit. This is the back of the um, the uh, Golden Girls, and the Golden Girls deck is is really hysterical. It says, "A look into your future from the Lanai." <laughs> so, all right. So let me check something. All right. So, um, so Teresa, you wanted from the Golden Girls. Teresa, I want you to, and everybody who is on my list: Teresa, Cecily, Sue, Hazel, Michelle, Susan, Tamara, and Sumatra. I need you to like type your question in, but don't hit enter yet. So type your question in, but don't hit enter. Try to formulate your question where it's not like a yes or a no. Um, you know, if, if you're trying to find love, say, what do I need to do to bring about love? If you're looking for a new job, what do I need to release in order to find that new job? Thank you, Tamara. So, um, so yeah, so Teresa, we're going with the Golden Girls first. So Teresa, type in your question. Cecily, Sue, Hazel, get your question on deck, ready to go, so that when you're ready, you just hit enter. Um, and then that way it just pops in. Because once you hit enter, it takes about 45 to a minute, 45 seconds to a minute before I can even see it. There's a little bit of a lag time. So just keep that in mind. So, and if this is your first time, let me know. Tamara, is this your first time? You say you love my energy. Um, the reason I asked that is because this is kind of like my standard. <laughs> This is kind of my standard. Um, would y'all agree? <laughs> ah, so, um, oh my gosh, I'm, I'm shuffling the cards and the Gone Girls are flying out. <laughs> I love it. I love it, love it, love it. So, all right. And also, if you want to let me know where you're where you're watching from, I would love to hear from you. A um, couple other things. If you, if you didn't get a reading or you want a more in-depth reading, two things you can do. Go to my website, MitchellOsmer.com, click on the store, and I have 50 plus spreads you can choose from, the one that best suits what you're going through in your life right now. And I read you a private reading. I just I hit record, I say your name, and I read a private reading and deliver it back to you on a YouTube, unlisted YouTube channel. And then that way you can watch it as much as you want. Actually, it's part of your homework to watch it three to five times. But also you can book a session and we can do a tarot reading or a psychic mediumship or an animal communication. Um, there are 30, 30 minute sessions virtually for $50. You can find that at MitchellOsborne.com. All right, so, so Teresa, you said, what do I need to do to get my mojo back? Like my drive in life. And then you said they're flying out to get cheesecake. <laughs> right, Teresa? So Teresa, your question, what do you need to do to get your mojo back? Let me pull a card and just see what the Golden Girls have to say about that. So. What do they have to say? Ah, Nine of Cups, manifest it. And there's your cheesecake right there in front of you. So the Nine of Cups is all about the wish card. It's about manifesting. It's about creating. So if you believe you don't have your mojo, you don't have your mojo. All right? If you believe you do, you do. Like my drive in life. So, you know, find your drive. Um, it's so funny. I just put a reminder in my, um, I asked, asked Siri to put a reminder uh, and the reminder was, who am I? And like every hour it pops up. And every hour I just think, who am I? And it was mainly in this world as a, as a psychic medium tarot reader. It's like, I'm trying to get the cards so you can see. I wanted to find like, who am I? What's my role? What's my brand? You know? So I would encourage you to do that as well, Teresa. Um, so yeah, so honestly, this is about you manifesting and creating it. So don't, don't think that it's not right there at your grasp. Because listen, everybody, you are always creating co-creating or miscreating and when you're creating you've set the intention you know what you're going to do when you're co-creating that's when your vibration meets with somebody else's vibration when you're miscreating that's usually like worry or fear and miscreating means you're creating something that you really are kind of saying 
I don't want, but because you're so focused on it, you're getting it. Hey, Audra, how are you? So if you're joining me now, hang tight. I might have room for some other readings um, a little bit later. So, oh, yay, Tamara from Connecticut. Yay, I think that's what CT means. Um, so Boston. All right, so so Teresa, let me know if that register uh, reg resonates with you a little bit. But I really think it's about, you know, you focusing on what it is you want. And remember, the best way to manifest and create something is from the heart center. And um, new moon is coming up next Friday, the 22nd. The new moon spread is a phenomenal spread. Um, I'll probably do a collective read sometime later this week. You are welcome, Teresa. Yeah, yeah. And just create with your emotions, with your heart center. Um, the, the movie and the book, The Secret, years ago was phenomenal. It was great. It really opened the door for a lot of people. And I remember Wayne Dyer, he said, you know, The Secret did a good job. He said, but I felt they fell short just a little bit. And his comment was something to the effect of they forgot to mention you got to create from your heart center, from your emotions. So when you feel and believe that you are in a joyous, beautiful, kind, loving, equal, caring, giving relationship, that's when the universe says, oh crap, I need to supply that. And I'm a fan of vision boards, but one time, sometimes the vision boards become a reminder of what you don't have. And that can suck you down the rabbit hole. If it can continue to prompt you to feel good about what you're going to get, then it will help you. But when it reminds you of the, you still don't have the love, the job, the trip, then it kind of sucks you down the rabbit hole. Beautiful. So, hey, Jordan, how are you? So let's see. Hey, Chelsea, it's good to see you. Um, so, Teresa, you are welcome. And those of you just joining, I'm doing readings, but hold tight. Um, I, I already got um, eight people. If I get room for more, I'll, I'll jump on because I got a little time tonight. I got a little time tonight. Um, Audra, good, good, good. And that's another reason. I'm a teacher at heart when it comes to this stuff. So, you know, Teresa, thank you for allowing your reading to resonate with Audra and other people as well. All right, Cecily, we're going to the bot. So, by the way, if you're coming on, People have either chosen a Terabot reading or a Golden Girl reading. Terabot's going to be a little more logical, kind of. The Golden Girl's going to be a little more sassy and fun. So, um, Cecily, you asked for a bot. So, Cecily, type in your question. Let me know what you want to know. So, Jordan, hang tight. If I get if I get some room, I will open it back up for some people as well. Yeah, Barrett says, now I want a piece of cheesecake. It was so funny. I kept thinking, what kind of cake is that? Is that what dessert is that? And then somebody had to remind me. So Cecily, you said, what do I need to do to grow my romantic relationship? All right, so Spirit is already telling me to draw two cards for you. So from the bot, from the tarot bot, woo, card is flying out. It was a three of wands. Let's see if that comes back up. And the three of wands is about expecting it to come in. So let's see what else, let's see what else pops up. So Thank you, Jordan. Yeah, I, I, I probably will have a little time. We'll see. So, all right. So, Cecily, I'm pulling two cards. Spirit told me to. So, for Cecily, what do I need to do to grow my romantic relationship? So, this is two of coins. So, this is find a balance. Um, I would say, and I'm, I'm feeling like maybe between like work and yourself. Um, so, find the balance. Don't don't dive in like, oh my God, I want to spend every moment with someone, with them. Um, make sure you're taking care of yourself. Now, you did say to grow my romantic relationship. So I'm assuming you're in one. If you're not in one, then we need to look at what do I need to do to, to draw one in. And if that's the case, then it, once again, I'm like finding balance in the material world with the two of coins. And then also 10 of coins um, manifesting and creating it. This is such a beautiful, beautiful imagery of this is the bot house. Those are the 10 coins around. And this is this is Virgo energy. This is a beautiful, critical energy. So for those two cards um, with the question, what do I need to do to grow it? I would say it's all about the earthy material stuff your money, your resources, your finances, your body, find that balance. Um, and I feel like maybe you're, you're, this is more of your focus right now. Hey, Mary, more of your focus is on maybe the money, your career, um, you know, family or something like that. So again, the first card was the balance. And then also the one that flew out was the three of wands, which is about, you know, seeing it come in, realizing it's there, you know, expecting it, expecting it. So so Cecily, I hope that makes some sense. I hope that resonates with you. I hope that can help you draw that in. And then also, right back to what I said before, 
imagine just how you if you want to bring in a relationship laying when you lay in bed in the morning or at night just imagine just reach over take the hand of that person next to you and just imagine don't look don't even imagine what they look like or what how tall they are how old they are what color their skin is nothing and just think how good it feels to be in that relationship to be equally carried how good it feels how safe you feel how financially safe how emotionally safe and when you feel all that stuff in your heart that's when the universe will supply it but you got to hold on to that you got to hold that emotion to to manifest and create it so Cecily I hope that work works for you so Sue Sue type your question in and Sue you asked for it from the Golden Girls So Sue, type, hit enter on that question. And Hazel, you'll be next, but don't hit your question yet. And then Michelle, then Susan. So get your questions ready. So Sue, what is your question? And like I said, it takes about, it takes about 45 seconds to a minute for me to get it. Cecily, great, thank you. That makes a lot of sense. I'm glad it resonates. Wonderful, wonderful. So Sue, uh, first time, thanks. Woohoo, yay. So what do I need to do to reconnect or be with my dearest love? He has said he loves me. We are not living close to one another. Europe, USA. And right now, that's probably not easy at all. Um, especially, yeah, and you said it. And especially with all the COVID stuff. His birthday is tomorrow. Oh, beautiful. So your question, what do you need to do to reconnect or be with your dearest love um, that said he loved you? So he's committing, you're committing, you're saying it. So let's see what you need to do. And I'm being told two cards. For some reason, relationships, um, they're showing me two cards. From the Golden Girls. What do, what do you need to do? Justice. More balance. More balance. So find the balance. And I love Rose here. She's just so happy, so positive. And um, I love the sword pointing up and the, then the weights, the scales hanging down. So first of all, find balance within yourself, within your life. Like I said just a moment ago, if you are wanting it so bad and all you can think about is being with them, that's not balance. You know, so, and if, if you're trying to ignore it because it's too painful and you're focusing on your job and your career and you're keeping yourself busy, that's not balance. So find the balance, first of all. Second card, the magician. I love it. It's Ma. So, Sophia. So the magician has everything she needs. So second thing, find the balance but then also realize you are perfect, whole, and complete as you are right now. They will not complete you. You do not need them. You want them. You would like a partnership. You would like to be in a relationship. You would like to be closer, to hold them, to be intimate with them, et cetera, et cetera. Now, here's the cool thing. These are two major arcana. So I'm going to tell you, this is a big deal. You know, this is something big. Um, and Spirit just said... <laughs> I'm laughing because it's, 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 I don't want to be trite, but Spirit just said, patience, loved one. So, so somebody up there is saying, patience, loved one. So they're echoing this. And I feel like this might be somebody from your childhood, like maybe like a grandmother or something like that, because they're kind of showing you almost like a child. So have patience, loved one, and find the balance and realize you are perfect, whole, and complete as you are. You know, so make sure your dialogue, your words coming out of your mouth are not, oh my God, I can't live without you. Yes, you can. <laughs> what you want to say is, I really would like and desire to be with you. I, I look forward to the day that we will be together or have more physical time together. You know, when the moment you say, I need, that puts a, a weird energy on you because need means I can't live without. Need means I have to have. Like and desire, those are different kind of things. I desire to be with you. I would like to be with you. You know, it would. I would love the time that we would have together all right so there you go sue hope that makes some sense hope that resonates hope that gives guidance so hazel you're next going to hit enter for a bot reading and as you're hitting enter and it's coming up sue let me know if that resonates and makes any sense with you so and then michelle you get ready and then after that susan and then tamara and then samatra so michelle i'm sorry hazel this is a bot reading so I'm reading from the bot deck. So, and if you're joining me just now, I've already chosen the ones, those who I'm going to do reading for. If I have time, I'll do more. But we're either doing from the Golden Girls or the Tarot Bot deck. The Golden Girl deck, Golden Girls deck is going to be a little more lighthearted. The Tarot Bot's going to be a little more kind of like heavy, serious. Um, and if you just like the deck, you're still going to get the reading you need. So, Hazel, you said it's about romance tonight. Woohoo! <laughs> what do I need to do? 
to move. Hey, Catherine. So Hazel said, what do I need to do to move on with relationships in my life? I've been widowed for four and a half years now and feel that it's time to open up to new love. First of all, um, sorry for your loss. Um, second of all, I hope that the four and a half years have been a beautiful time of healing and growth. So let's see what Spirit, and Spirit's just telling me one card for this one. So maybe the bot deck is, it only gets one card. Um, so what do you need to do to move on with relationships in your life? All right, so cards are flying out. So, oh my gosh, cards are flying out. So I'm going to put them back in and i got to shuffle again. Sometimes I just feel like I have to shuffle again. And this deck, both these decks shuffle very smoothly. So um, what do I need to do to move on with your relationship in your life? So Hazel, what do you need to do? Oh, the sun. I love it. Look at that beautiful bot sitting. Is that like lotus position? No, I think that's like, um, it's like butterfly or something. I can't remember now. Anyway, um, so the sun card, bright, brilliant, beautiful, positive. This is literally about staying positive. And I love the little flowers on each hand, ready to grow, reaching towards the sun. And the sun card is number 19, which is a one, because it boils back down to one, and that is about starts and beginning. So very beautiful, perfect card for you. You know, you know, it's time to open up to new love. This literally would be like, all right, because the sun makes us open up, you know? The sun opens our pores. The sun will make the, um, the, the flower blossom. So a lot of opening going on there. And then really, really focus on your heart center. You know, just, you know, walking through life, opening it up and being willing to, you know, explore and have fun. So, so that was for you, Hazel. Hope that made some sense for you. Hope that resonates. So, hey, Jan. Yes, Hazel, beautiful, beautiful card there. So Catherine, so beautiful. Yay, Barrett, the sun card is nice. And I love this sun card in this deck. So Sue said, yes, well done. Patience is perfect. <laughs> a message I get a lot as it is not <laughs> fun to be a part. The love is deep, but not needy. Beautiful, beautiful. We have fun together. He is my very best muse. I love it. Oh, you're right. Oh, that's beautiful. And there is a playful innocence to our relationship. Bless you. You're welcome. Um, words you needed to hear. Great. I'm glad that that helped. So Michelle, Michelle, you're going to get a, a bot, a tarot bot reading. So Michelle, hit enter on your your question. And if you're joining me a little bit late, um, I am doing um, one couple card readings. I don't know how many spirit tells me, but um, I've already got my eight. If I get time for more, I'll, I'll ask, but I'm either doing from the Golden Girls deck or the Terabot deck. Um, Golden Girls, a little more lighthearted, Terabot, a little more, um, uh, you know, logical kind of, you know, focused reading. And I think it's mainly just because of the um, the cards. So Michelle from the Terabot deck, I am on the right track and or, oh, am I on the right track and or what can I do to break toxic dysfunctional cycles and attract divine love? It is a, it is a night of love and romance, isn't it? So first of all, let's look at, are you on the right track? So let's just look at that. Pull one card. Are you on the right track? Woohoo! Page of Cups. Absolutely. Look at this. The Page of Cups is all about learning about love and emotions. So are you on the right track? I believe so. And what can you do to break toxic dysfunctional relationships? Okay, this is the Queen of Cups. So take the Page of Cups, which is all about learning and understanding your emotions, and put it into practice. Because the Queen of Cups is in charge of her life. And look at this. Waves, 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 moving, moving, moving. Calm, peaceful. So I would say for you, really work on your emotional, um, uh, I don't want to say intelligence, your emotional state of being. So focus on your emotions because I feel like that that could be because our emotions are what bring and draw and attract stuff, that vibration. So absolutely. And then you said, let's do this. Let's say, what's the one thing you can shift and change to start drawing that divine love to yourself? All right. The full start. Absolutely. Take the leap jump look at this beautiful fool card and it's like it, it's it is a dog i thought it was a cat at first but i just love this the fool is wide-eyed and ready taking a step not being afraid almost naive to a fault so really step out there michelle really step out and just you know be willing be willing i always tell people as hard as it is to hear sometimes you've got to be willing to be hurt 
in order to find love. So Audra said, hey, Sue, I write to you if you want to message me to chat. Oh, beautiful. Yay, connections being made. Um, so Maria, we, um, if I have time, I will ask for some more because um, I've already got my eight. And it just depends on how much time I take here because I, what time is it? How long? I've been on about 26 minutes. So, so we'll see if I have more time because there's a few more people that popped on. So if you are popping on, hang tight. Um, I got um, one, two, three more to do, and then I'll see if I have time to do more once I get through those. So, um, Catherine, you said, if you feel called to and have time, we'd love to Okay, yes, Catherine, like I said, yeah, we'll, we'll do one. So, um, so Sue, that would be fun. So, okay, you guys are, you guys are, there you go, take that out. You guys have fun offline. <laughs> um, Hazel, you are welcome. Connected years through Lisa Williams. Oh, my gosh, Hazel, that's right. When it was like a chat room or something with Lisa Williams' site. I loved it. I loved it. Um, is the new moon good for moving? The new moon is great for planting seeds and growing things. It's great for manifesting. Um, so if you're talking moving, then moving into a new house, yes. It might not be the best time to release and let go of old things. So if you're, if you, it, and I hate to say it, but you almost might want to move first. And then after 14 days pass, then start, you know, cleaning the house out, letting go, or you, you should have done it like a, like a week ago. Yeah, so full moons are great for releasing things. New moons is a great time for planting seeds um, and bringing those things to light. Um, so yeah. Thank you, Maria. Hang tight. So I right, so Susan, Golden Girl reading. So Susan, hit, hit your inner button and let's see what the Golden Girls have to say for you. Getting a sip of water. Ah. So I'm reading from the Golden Girls deck and the Tarot deck. So, um, wait a minute. Did I just do, wait, did I just do Susan's? No, this is Susan's. I didn't skip you, did I, Susan? <laughs> I mark them off and I'm like, why did I already mark hers off? So Susan, Golden Girls, what's your, what's your, what's your reading? Because I just did Michelle's reading, right? Yeah. And Michelle, let me know if that makes some sense for you. Okay, Susan, yay, there we go. So what can I do to get a family member to not distance themselves from the family? All right. I'm feeling this is going to be a two-part question. What can you do? What can they do? So that's what I'm feeling. So what can you do to get them to not distance themselves so much? All right. Whew. <laughs> Queen of Cups. Okay, I love this. This is Rose Nyland here. Queen of Cups energy. So what can you do? Honor their emotions. Understand what it feels like to be them. Um, I'm also hear, he, hearing, this is, the, this is a Cancer Zodiac. Queen of Cups is Cancer Zodiac. And, I, and normally they're very protective. And I feel like that's what this is about. And I got to say that I almost feel like you need to let them, hey, Bo, how are you? Um, Susan, I feel like you need to let them kind of stumble and fall. This is a lesson because if you've got a lot of motherly, parental, protective kind of things going on with this person, um, then you know what? Their karma may need to be dealt with and just like come to grips with what's going on. The example I always use is, you know, a parent teaching their child to ride a bike. They hold onto the back of the seat. They help them stand. They help them balance. You've got to let go. If you've never let go, the child's going to think they're doing it and they're not. You're helping them. And if you let go, you know what's going to happen. They're going to fall and scub their knee, but they've got to scub their knee. They've got to learn how to do it. So if that's the case, then definitely, definitely kind of let go. Now, the card for this family member, what can they do or what can you encourage them to do or focus on? Wow, Six of Swords. This is about leaving the bad situation behind. And this is, I love this. This is, um. so if you haven't figured out, that each um, person has, each Golden Girl has a different suit. So um, Dorothy is the swords, of course, because she's cutting cutting through. So, um, so yeah, so what you can encourage them to do is move on to something better. So Susan, I don't know if they're in a bad relationship. Maybe they're getting blah, blah, blah. Or, you know, if if the family is not nice to them, then why would you want them coming around? You know, if they're dissing themselves because they feel belittled or whatever, then maybe it is time for them to move on, you know, and you can have your own relationship outside with them. Um, so yeah, those are some things you'll just have to figure out. You know, the cards are kind of kind of saying that. So Bo said, will Luke's Golden Girls tour resume by the end of 2020? Um, 
Who is is Luke's Golden Girls a tour or something? I don't I don't even know what that is. So so Susan, I hope that makes some sense. Uh, Michelle totally resonates. Thank you for the affirmation. You are welcome. Margo, oh, I missed it. Hey, Margo, what's up? I may take some extra ones, so hang tight, Margo. I've got two more to do, and then if I have time, I will read a couple extra ones. I'm not even familiar with the Golden Girls tour, but whatever it is, it sounds fabulous. <laughs> is it drag queens? Please tell me it's drag queens. <laughs> All right, so Tamara, 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 go ahead and hit enter on your question, and I'm reading from the Tarot Bot. Um, deck for you and then uh, after that Sumatra get ready have your question ready so Tamara what is your question for the Terabot deck and we'll go from there all right so what do I need to do to move to the next level of your ascension Woohoo! has okay let me go one question at a time what do I need to do to move to the next level of your ascension all right so the card from Terabot Lovers, look for partnerships. Look for people that can help you do the movement forward. I feel like you're trying to do it all on your own. And I feel like you might need someone, you know, I keep saying like a Reiki master or someone that works with crystals, like to help you remove stuff, maybe blocks and things and, and help you move forward. So I feel like there's assistance to be done. I don't feel like this is lovers as in romantic relationship. It could be, but I feel like it's more like someone, you know, someone assisting and helping you, reaching out for that connection. And then you said, has your purpose changed? Very clear kind of card. Has your purpose changed? Three of wands. I'm going to say no, I don't think it's fully arrived. And I think by what I just said about, you know, the help getting someone to help you move and go forward. Look at, I love this. See the third wand laying on the ground? You got to pick up that third wand. This card usually has a boat or a ship coming in and it kind of, well, that's a tree, I think is what is out there. But I love that the third wand is kind of the representative of, okay, pick up the third wand. It's there. Um, you feel, let's say you feel, I feel inspired, but in a holding pattern. Absolutely. So I think finding like someone to help you shift and move to the next level, whether it's something like Reiki, you know, hypnosis, um, um, or someone, I keep seeing like Reiki and crystals. So maybe someone that helps you kind of, you know, shift and move and change and remove some, some blocks, but I, I'm seeing partnership or helping. Um, and then I don't think your purpose has changed. I don't think it's fully arrived. That's what I feel. I feel like you've only got a part of it. Oh my gosh, Bo, it's puppets? Wow, that is wild. Golden Girl drag queens would be awesome, right? <laughs> puppets or drag queens, I love it. So, all right, so Sumatra, hit your question, hit enter on that, and let me read that. And Tamara, let me know if that resonated with you. Hopefully it did, give you a little bit of in insight and guidance. All right, so I will take, what time is it? I will take three more people. So three more people. You just need to say either GG for Golden Girl or BOT Bot for Bot. So th the first three to say either GG or Bot, um, and then we'll go with you. All right, Sumatra said, what do I need to do to find love this time? This is my first time from Michigan. I'm a widow from 10 years. First, Once again, sending you some beautiful high vibrations for that 10 year journey, um, that loss at that time. And hopefully it has been an amazing time for you. Um, so what do you need to do to find love? This is the first time from Michigan um, and your 10 years. All right, so Sumatra, what do you need to do? All right, seven of wands. And I love this card because it's like, you need to just go, <laughs> go get your freak on and be surprised. Um, I'm going to be honest here. This really has a lot of sexual energy with it and not normally, but this is like, go get your cage rattled. I've never said that before to a um, client, but I really feel like you, it's like, I want you to get the juices flowing and not just physical sexual, but it's almost like I want you to just go experiment and see what's out there. Um, so let me uh, hold on you guys. Hold on, hold on, hold on. So I can't see your question. So um, let me I, I'm pull one more card for what else do you need to do? Ooh, tear down all that you've constructed. Release everything from the past. This is tower. It's time to till the garden 
and and let go of what you what you what you ever have thought about relationships in life. You know, it may not be traditional. They may have their house, you may have yours. You may just meet in the middle and be forever dating. You know, so let go of a lot of like the um the uh um what am I trying to say? The preconceived ideas and stuff like that. So Sumatra, let me know if that makes a little bit of sense for you. All right, so I said three more. So let me look and see. All right, Tamar, you said yes, that makes sense, good. So Maria, all right, Maria is the next one, and you said Golden Girls. And then after Maria, Bo, Golden Girls. All right, and then Margo, everybody's doing Golden Girls. Margo. Okay, so I'm gonna write down, <laughs> Patrick, should I go with the girls from Australia? <laughs> um, I don't know, Patrick. So. Um, Patrick, I'm gonna, I don't know if you wanna read it or not because you didn't say which. Um, so I'm gonna put um, Patrick down. If you did want a reading, tell me which one, and then Joanne. But I don't know if I'm gonna get to you two because you're outside, so I'm gonna do three more. Maria, Bo, and Margo. Type your questions in, but don't hit enter yet. And let's see what I can get done. So the last three so far, and I'll see where I am on time. See where I'm on time, you guys. So, Maria, what's your question? And I will be doing this from the Golden Girls. Hey, Patrick, how are you, brother? All right, so, Patrick, if we get to you, it will be Golden Girls. Joanne, I forgot, what did you say? If I get to you? Joanne, you said bot. Okay, if I get to you. So, Patrick and Joanne, you're on, you're on deck. So, uh, Maria, what is your question? Sumatra, you are welcome. I hope, like I said, I hope, I hope to go get your cage rattled. <laughs> Sorry, I've never said that one. Whew, I don't even know if that's in my 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 frame of reference. Um, not that I'm a goody two shoes. Trust me, I know what my cage rattled means. Um, so Maria, you said, are you on the right track in life? So let me ask, yes or no. Are you on your right track? And then let me ask. Actually, let me ask what you need to do either to get on the right track or to stay on the right track. It's okay, Jordan. So Maria, what do you need to do to get on the right track or if you're on it, stay on the right track? So for Maria, get on the right track or stay on the right track? Nine of Swords, release that worry. Re take your hands away from your eyes, face your fears, face whatever it is that you're, that you're looking at. Second card, Page of Cups and come to an understanding of your emotions. Embrace them. I really feel like for you, Maria, some mindfulness and meditation will do very well. I don't know if you get anxious feelings a lot. That's often when you're worried about the future. You know, so I, it's like, I wanna bring you into the present moment. I want you to find a peaceful place to exist in um, and, and acknowledge the feelings, acknowledge your emotions, what you're going through. Let them waft through you um, and just observe them almost like a third party person. Hey, Jojo. Um, yeah, so I feel like that's, that's what you need to do. Face your fears, move, let the emotions or whatever they are move through you. You might have to do this very carefully. Um, and if you ever want to have a mindfulness meditation session, let me know. We can do some tapping. We can do some eye movement therapy, um, some NLP or some hypnosis. But I usually start with just mindfulness and, and, and try to center you there and go from there. So, yeah. So there you go. There you go, Maria. I hope that resonated with you. Um, <laughs> cage rattle. Yes, girl. And that raises. Good. I'm glad, Michelle. I'm glad, Michelle. Very interesting, a lot of romance tonight, and very interesting, a lot of widows looking to either start love again or find that love. So very interesting what we connect. And you know what? Hello, I just, duh, hit me like a ton of bricks. The Golden Girls, many of them were widows. Many of them were later in, and not y'all are later in life, but many of them were later in life looking for love and relationships. So I love it. So Bo, what's your question? What is your question, Bo? And um, uh, Maria, let me know if that, yes. Okay, I hope that resonates with you. So Jojo, um, I've already got all the questions I can work with tonight. Um, so um, yeah, so sorry. <laughs> I've got um, two more definites. And then if I have time, Patrick and Joanne. So all right, so Bo, what is your question? And uh, Margo, have your question ready, but don't type it in yet. So, and then when I say hit enter, then you hit enter. So hello to anybody who's just popping in. 
I'm doing readings. I've already got all the people I can take, but I'm doing readings. <laughs> oh, Bo, I love it. Will Luke's tour resume in 2021? Let's find out. All right, will the tour resume in 2021? Ace of Cups, absolutely. Absolutely. It will start back up. It will definitely start back up. And what will the what will the what will it be like? What is the ooh? It will be freed from all the crap that's been holding it back. It will be released and ready to go. I love Ma blowing the trumpet. <laughs> so I do think it will resume and I think it will be free from anything that's been holding it back. So absolutely. Maria, I've been watching the Golden Girls on TV. Oh, I love it. I love it. Beautiful. So Bo, I hope that I hope that helps. That way you get to see you some Luke's Golden Girls. Um, and Margo, hit enter on your question. And let's do this thing. And you know what? Let me go one at a time. So Patrick, get your question ready. And I'll tell you when to hit enter. So Margo, you're doing Golden Girls. So Margo, what is your question? Margo, let me know your question. Margo. I feel stuck. Margo, I feel stuck, love my job, but feel like I'm lacking purpose, need more financial stability and maybe a little love. Okay, so let's say, what can you do to get unstuck or not feel stuck anymore? Let's go with that first. So what can you do to get unstuck? Knight of Wands, this is about move forward. This is wand, so it's fiery, creative, inspirational. It's very sexual energy. Definitely giddy up, get up on your hind legs and move. Don't expect it to just come to you. Get out there and do it. And the Knight of Wands is very Leo energy. Take charge, let your ego come out a little bit. Um, don't be afraid to grab hold of that wand and go. So yeah, so now you said, um, let's ask, what can you do? Uh, to feel more purposeful in your life. What can you do to feel more purposeful? Two of Wands, manifest it. Look for it as if it's coming. Realize that, you know, you've got the world in your hands and all you got to do is create what you want. Create what you want. And then financially, and then finally, what can you do to be more financially stable? Um, so what can you do to be more financially stable? Three of Swords, let go of any past heartaches, pains, and breakups. And that also works into the love. So the financial stability and the love, I think, are tied together. So release any of the pain and the worry, the frustration from the past, because I think that's holding you back. I definitely think that is holding you back just a little bit, according to the cards. So Patrick, you said, I'm going for it anyway. So Margo, yes, please, got it. Um, Bo, you are welcome. All right, Patrick, should I take the leap of faith towards the woman from Australia? I feel it's a gift from the universe. All right, so let me ask, should you take, well, if you take the leap, what will it look like? Let's do that. If you take the leap, what will it look like? Freedom from what's been holding you back. So I feel like the leap will definitely help you. And how will it, what will it look like at the end? Oh my gosh, this is beautiful. This Look at, they're leaping. She's literally leaping. I'm going to be honest with you. When I look at this, it's two major arcana. And we're asking about if you take the leap, and there literally is a leap here. If you take the leap, it's definitely going to free you up from stuff. Free you up from what's been holding you back. Because because the judgment card, judgment card is about kind of like being trapped. It's the, They're trapped in the grave. The horn is blown by Gabriel and they're released from the grave, which has been holding them back. So, yeah, so that's what that make, that's what that resonates with me for there. So, so <laughs> in fact, I knew it. <laughs> so, OK, let me catch up with what people are saying. That's challenging. We'll do Margo. Yes, I know it can be challenging. You got it. Judy. Hello. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Local Floridian. Good to see you here. Um, Jan said you are such a delight. Well, thank you, Jan. I, I appreciate it. Um, you said my energy is uplifting. It, I, I, I hope so. That's one of my intentions. Um, thank you for all that you do. You are welcome. And contacting you for a reading. Much love. Yay. Yeah, and if you want a reading, you guys, MitchellOsborne.com. All right here and I can do a couple things one we can have a, a live session online psychic medium tarot 
mindfulness, animal communication reading, 30 minutes, $50. Um, or you can go to my spread store on my website and pick a spread that resonates with what you're going through. One card, two card, five, 10. Some of them have 36 cards. Um, the more the cards, the more expensive it is and the longer it takes to do. <laughs> but uh, most of them are like, you know, 20 to $25 and I record a video and send it back to you. And your homework is usually to watch it over three to five times, get a tarot journal, make notes, write things down, especially if you're going to have more than one reading. So, um, so Judy, do you think you should spend two months in Colorado this summer? So Judy, I've, I've done, I, I've finished reading all the cards, but um, I've, I've already done all the readings, but Judy, here's to your question. Should you spend two months in Colorado? Um, so this is, Five of Pentacles, I don't think so. This looks like it might be, um, what do I wanna say? The Five of Pentacles is often feeling lack, less than, um, uh, like not having the money, the abundance and things like that. So with just asking flat out, should you spend that time there? That card makes me feel like it might be more challenging it, and it was wind and rain, not that it's gonna be wind and rainy, but it just feels like it might not be the best choice at this time, at this time. Um, so Patrick said she's a soulmate. Um, thank you, Margo. Uh, Patrick got a few years left. <laughs> Judy, hey. Okay, D yes, DM me, Judy. Absolutely, absolutely. Or just go to MitchellOsborne.com. You can book right on my website. Um, I typically am doing readings uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday night, 7 p.m. or Saturdays between 10.30 and 1. Um, and you can just literally book which one you want. You can see my schedule and pricing and everything before you book, before you pay. Um, so yes, so Bo, thank you, Mitch. Oh, you are welcome, Bo. Thank you, thank you. Yes, I'll see you next April at Reader Studio. I'm planning on presenting Animal Communication there. You're welcome, Judy. Yeah, yeah. I was surprised that would come up like that because part of me wanted you to go, but I, I just I'm gonna say I feel like it's not right, a right, right time for what you have planned or what you've got going on. It might be more of a challenge. So. Well, you guys, thanks for hanging out with me. It's been almost 50 minutes. Thank you, Patrick. I'm glad my energy is does something out there. And you guys, you know, I get that a lot that, you know, oh, I love your energy. You're such a bright light. Some people say, hi, sunshine. You know, my daily mantra is to raise, oh, <laughs> did y'all see that like come on? My daily mantra is to raise my vibration. Um, and it's not so much to be a light or to, to, to make other people feel good, but my, my daily prayer is to to raise my vibration into the highest place that I can be um, because I know by doing that I change the world because we are all one and if we're all one we're all interconnected and as I raise my vibration it helps raise your vibration you know so yeah hey Tyler how are you that was weird wasn't it Judy <laughs> it's an automatic light but it it came on right when I was talking about that Margo, you are welcome. Yay, book whenever you can. And if you're ever if you're ever a returning client, let me know if you're having difficulty book something. I don't make exceptions because I have boundaries and I balance and it's part of what I preach. So I've got to do it. I preach it. So I got to I preach and teach it. So I, I follow my own boundaries. But over the next two weeks, I'll have a little more time just with the nature of what's going on with my work. Sue, you are welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Judy's like, you need to book. <laughs> uh, so, all right, you guys. Um, I'm going to sign off in about two minutes. If there's any other final questions you might have, not a reading, but any other insider questions, uh, type it in now because it usually takes about 45 seconds to a minute before I can see your response. And then in about two minutes, I'll be signing off. And um, this will be up for a little while that you can see if you want to go back and listen to your reading or somebody else's. And um, yeah, every Sunday night I do either mindfulness um, live at 7 p.m. or animal communication live at 7 p.m. Both of them have events. You can read the events and see what goes on. If you want animal communication, go to that event. It will tell you what to do to put a picture in for your animal that I can read. I can't do I can't do pictures at the time. You have to you have to post ahead of time. Um, the only Sunday coming up, the 31st, I've got that weekend, I've got two kind of international fun things that I'm doing. One is the evening of the 31st. It's 24 hours of like tarot and I'm like an hour or I think an hour or 30 minutes on like Sunday night. It's an hour. And then I'm also part of another world divination conference, online conference that I'm not sure what I'm teaching yet because I 
said, here's a couple things, and they didn't tell me yes yet. So hopefully I'll know soon. Yes, Joanne, you'll know it will work out at the best time. I'm a huge believer in divine timing. You know, I was just reading um, the sutras of healing today, and it's like the healer does not try to manipulate or get people to come into a session. The healer allows for that person to step in. I was like, oh my gosh, I used to feel so guilty that I didn't promote and hand out my business card all the time to people. You need this. I can help you. I always feel weird that I don't do that. Um, but then I realized it's because spirit sends the people to me that need to come to me. And um, it's, it's been a really interesting, interesting time. And I also know that my own personal energy, when it's off or shifting or changing, like sometimes I'm sitting in that, chair, that red chair right back there meditating in the morning with Bartolomeo, the cat on my chest, because he meditates with me. Oh, he left. Um, and I'll say, you know what? I, I need to open my heart to my clients. And I would just literally like open up my heart and say, who, who needs my help? And, and by my help, I get your help. It's like, who needs this co-creating moment of healing together? And the funny thing is, is usually by the end of the day, like boom, 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 like five clients pop up. So it's always beautiful to see spirit teach me lessons and help me work as well. So, all right, you guys, have an amazing day, night, weekend. Namaste, healthy and safe. Uh, I look forward to seeing you again here or in person. Bye-bye.